a four-time MVP and Super Bowl champion, everyone knows who Aaron Rodgers is. But do you really? He's arrogant, finger pointing, selfish, flippy. There's been a lot of disinformation and misinformation beyond the media headlines. When it comes to me, they don't know. Sh I firmly believe there is wisdom in silence. There are some people who believe that I was a descending player and that it was time to make a change. Were you like trying to be the host of Jeopardy? How close were you to retire? Close. I was thinking about it. Let's explore the very complex career of Aaron Rodgers. People get to you know, see actually who I am. You, at one point, were thinking about, like, just quitting football. February of 2002, came out of the winter, had no offers, and had zero Division One offers. I was not really recruited out of high school. Ended up playing baseball in my senior year. Playing baseball that spring really kind of gave me my competitive fire back. I decided to go the junior college route. And had the opportunity to go play at Butte Community College. My focus was on being the best player I could be and winning my quarterback battle that I had during training camp and then going out and balling brilliant career here at Butte College and uh, going to be moving on now, I guess, uh, is it Cal Berkeley? Jeff Tedford actually came up to watch our tight end workout. He liked my workout. You know, as he drove home, he called me and, and offered me a scholarship. You know, it's been fun. Butte, Butte has been uh, everything I've ever hoped and, uh, and even more. And when I got to Cal, my focus was on just being an incredible student athlete. And it was just that narrow focus that allowed me to, to stay in the Stop. moment. Rogers looking that way, breaking free, it's MacArthur! I would go on Rivals.com and they had like the top 100 quarterbacks in the country and the top 25 quarterbacks in California. I was never on any of those lists. That was the best thing that could have happened to me because I never once had the opportunity to be complacent. I was able to pass up a number of guys, highly recruited, highly touted, who maybe didn't have that same feeling of needing to prove themselves all the time, and I did. And that just drove me like crazy. And I don't think there's any question. Should he stay healthy, he will definitely be playing on Sundays in the National Football League. A couple of weeks ago, Aaron, you were the clear-cut number one. I dreamt about being the quarterback of the San Francisco 49ers. The San Francisco 49ers select Alex Smith, quarterback, Utah. So you can imagine my disappointment when they decided to go a different direction. Rodgers didn't go first or second or third. He didn't go in the top ten. He didn't go in the top 20. What's changed over that time? Yeah, I wish I could tell you. Uh, I haven't changed anything. I think it's just perception of me. Or Your phone's buzzing every two minutes. It's just your buddies just making jokes, and, and it's hard to laugh in a situation where you know everybody's laughing at you. With the 24th selection in the 2005 NFL Draft, the Green Bay Packers select Aaron Rodgers, quarterback to California. I hadn't really studied anything about Green Bay. I mean, I couldn't have picked it out on a map, to be honest with you. And I couldn't really tell you on a map where Wisconsin was. You get drafted by a team that's got a quarterback who has only played like 7,000 consecutive games and is going to the Hall of Fame. No, it was definitely an ego hit, for sure, because you think you're coming in, you, I'm the man, I'm going to play right away, and blah, blah, blah. And My contract doesn't say I have to get Aaron Rodgers ready to play. Hopefully he watches me and, and gets something from that. I'm sure there was some frustration that they that they picked his potential successor in the first round. It wasn't the easiest year for me in 05, but then in 06 and 07, it was just him and I. And, and I thought our relationship really got strong, and, and uh, he realized that I was in his corner. But the best thing was I got to see what greatness was firsthand. What was your reaction when he decided to unretire and lobby to return to Green Bay? A lot of confusion and surprise. I was surprised. Really, when Brett, you know, retired and then came back, and then they said, no, like Aaron's the quarterback. That was when I first really started to pay attention, like, wow. It was his team, and you know, he just earned everybody's trust week in and week out. But Aaron Rodgers was ready to play when it was his turn. And your first season as full-time Green Bay quarterback, your record was like 6-10, and 10, was that what yeah, it was? Yeah, 6 and 10. Thankfully, I, I was surrounded by a, a group of guys who really believed in me. You know, the biggest change, I think, in my development went, was that offseason when I said, you know what, I want to be the best in my position. So I need to make sure that I take the steps this offseason put myself in a position to be successful. Rodgers fakes a throw and takes it into the end zone. Touchdown! And then the second year he started to get his feet underneath him and they went 11-5 and five and made the playoffs. Rodgers going deep, he's got a man up and it's Jennings! Touchdown Packers! Played at Kurt Warner in that yes. wild card game. He threw for 423. It's just a classic shootout. But the game ended in overtime when Aaron Rodgers fumbled and it was returned for a touchdown. And on the blitz, Rodgers gets a hand to the face. The ball is out. The Arizona Cardinals win it. After the crushing wild card loss, the Packers sat at 8-6 in 2010, needing to win two straight to make the playoffs. And starting week 16, Aaron Rodgers would engineer one of the greatest end-of-season runs in recent memory. Touchdown, Green Bay! 
He has that Cali swagger. He's confident in his own ability, and it's almost like, can you stop me? Wide open Donald Lee. Touchdown, Green Bay. So the Packers are 10 and 6. They are in the playoffs as the number six seed. I just kind of always kept those doubters on my mind and enjoyed the opportunity to prove those, those people wrong. Into the end zone, touchdown. That's Rodgers for James Jones. Jones, foot for it, touchdown. What a catch. Even today, I'm not 6'5", I'm not 240, I don't run a 4 5 40. A lot of times the, the, the things you can't measure are often the things that, that give people the, the most success. Make it to Cohen and Rodgers will take it to the edge. Touchdown! The Green Bay Packers, the first number six seed from the NFC to make it to the Super Bowl. The Packers are Super Bowl bound! He put together probably the finest six game stretch that I've ever been part of. He kept getting better and better as the season wore on. Rodgers, Jordy Nelson, touchdown, Green Bay! Yeah, I was pretty hyped up starting the game, but once we settled in the game, it just... Uh... You know, it just felt like uh, another game and was able to go through my progressions and make some plays. Here in Arlington over the middle, touchdown! It was a little bit of an out-of-body experience the entire playoff run. We didn't really fear anybody and we just had this weird confidence that kept growing. As the challenges heightened, Aaron stepped his game up. The Green Bay Packers have won the Super Bowl. The Lombardi Trophy is coming home. Aaron Rodgers, our MVP! Aaron Rodgers wouldn't slow down after Super Bowl 45. Instead, he would go on a tear in the following seasons. Michael Jordan said, there's people in the crowd that have never seen me play in person, and I want to put on a show every time I take the court. I do go into a game knowing that there's thousands of people probably in the stands who've never seen me play. Slings it, end zone, touchdown! From the players I play against, from the coaches that coach against me. They know. They know. If you're going to prepare against us, it's going to be a rough time. First down, run by Rodgers, up the middle and in for the touchdown. You're seeing things and processing things so much faster than everyone else that it feels almost unfair. The elite quarterback status, you know, talk about Tom Brady and Peyton Manning. Do you ever feel like you get overlooked? I don't really worry a whole lot about that. I mean, I think, uh, you know, the fact that we had our success last season and won a championship, uh, that kind of does the talking. So right now, right now, are you the best quarterback in the league? I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm not gonna say that. I mean, that's that's for that's for media people to, to talk about. I thought I was gonna go number one and didn't, and that motivated me for a number of years. You didn't draft me. I'm going to make you feel very, very bad about that. And you already have. I have, and I, I'm gonna keep doing it. I'm gonna keep doing it as long as I can. And Rogers is gonna go deep, and it is pulled in for the touchdown. Bottom line is, the bad man that he is. Aaron Rodgers' athleticism, his arm strength, his ability to throw on the move or stand in the pocket, how he just makes things happen. This is a bad man. I'm trying to tell you, man. This is it, Rock, the season. Rodgers gets the snap, blitz is on. Rodgers scrambles He's left, winds up, rainbow. Cobb. He's got Cobb in the 10 to the five, yes. to the end zone. North Division Championship Dagger of 47 yards. In the end, when it comes down to you take any of those dudes and you put Aaron Rodgers in place of them, and you either going to stay where you are or you are going to elevate the levels unseen. This is a bad man. I can't believe that you don't get what Aaron Rodgers can do. This is a bad boy, man. He's got it. A touchdown, Green Bay. Scrambles to his left under pressure, rolling right, escapes, right side looking. He turned 32 yesterday, does he have a vintage moment in it? In the end zone, it is caught for the win! For the ball to come out that way, it's one of those dream scenarios where, like that ball came off perfect. Just I don't think I've ever thrown a ball that came off that good and went that high and that far. And went as high as I possibly could throw it and as far as I could throw it with that height. And then he did it again, six weeks later. Looking downfield, being flushed, rolling left, winds up, rainbows it high and deep into the end zone. It's high point and it caught for a touchdown! Yes! A miracle yes! catch! Jeff, 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 Jeff caught in the it. end zone! That throw was a special one because to harness that energy and the timing, the degree of difficulty was tough. I'm, I'm proud of that throw. 
the now two-time MVP Rodgers had much to be proud of in the regular season. But as for the postseason... Fumble the football, it's recovered by the Giants! Antrell Rolls got it on the run! The 2011 Packers were 15-1, and but looked nothing like it against the Giants. Manning back, steps up, heaves one down the middle of the field, into the end zone, and Nix makes the catch for the touchdown! The Green Bay Packers, as an organization, has done close to nothing to help this man. Religiously, their defense is suspect. They don't have a defense up to snuff. Kaepernick keeps it. Fooled everybody. Colin Kaepernick, what a game! Touchdown! They put the burden of responsibility of the offense on Aaron Rodgers, and they are an easier offense to defend. They have not put the team around him. They have left him hanging, and he has carried this franchise on his back. In 2013, he led a game-tying drive, but never got the ball back. It is good! San Francisco moves on! What's the worst loss that you've had? What's the one that stuck the most? Oh, the NFC Championship against Seattle. There's like eight plays. If one play goes our way. Good kick up into the air. It is loose and recovered by Seattle. They Obviously. scored. Yeah. And then they went for two and he threw up that wild one and somehow guy caught it. Up for grabs. And caught! Then we went down and got a field goal. That's right. You kicked a field goal to instead tie it. Of Yet again, Rodgers led a game-tying drive but never got the ball back. Wilson toward the end zone. It is caught. Seattle's going to the Super Bowl. Yeah, that one hurts. That was a fun one. Always going to hurt. Following another Rodgers led game tying drive, after which he never got the ball. Little flip to Fitzgerald. He scores. The discourse surrounding number 12 turned negative. Since his long ago Super Bowl victory, this man is three and five in playoff games since through last year and this year, overrated and overhyped. And he has gotten an all-time hail Aaron of a pass for what happened the first 10 games of this regular season when that team fell to four and six. Despite that woeful four and six start in 2016, Rodgers still had confidence. I feel like we can run the table. I really do. I just feel like it just takes one. We get one under our belts, things might start rolling for us and we can run the table. Rodgers, the quick pop for a touchdown to Devontae Adams. It's been one of those trying seasons, but I think over the last five weeks, We've shown a lot of mental toughness and guys sticking together when, when there could have been some fracturing. Right downfield, he's got Adams! Adams! Touchdown Green Bay! You know, you see all the quarterbacks play a certain way, and then you watch him, and I think he's just, the way, you know, the velocity of the ball, you know, the ability to, you know, run and throw on the move. Throws! Touchdown! Nelson again! I think he's an MVP. There's no question about it. I don't want to disrespect the other players that are having great years, but he's the best player in the National Football League. For Aaron Rodgers, the whole, I think we're going to be able to run the table in this one, to play as perfectly as he did once he said it, and that's the difference between the very good and the great. They're going to air it out. Rodgers does this better than anybody. End zone, Cobb, touchdown! Thirty-eight to thirteen, and the winning streak has hit seven. If you say somebody's mastered their craft, to you, what does that term mean? I think it's the ability to, to get in those moments and to be completely comfortable um, when the pressure's on. Rodgers is hit and somehow hangs on. It's Heath with a sack. Rodgers remained cool under pressure late in the divisional round. He rolls left, waits. Throws it deep down the left side. He's got his man out of bounds on the far side. That is unbelievable. Unbelievable. The official from behind the play said the catch was good, and he was right. Oh, my goodness, what a play. 51-yard field goal attempt. Snap, placement, kick to the upright. And it is right down the middle. It is good. And the Packers are going to the NFC Championship game. Aaron Rodgers has done it again. The table was run for eight consecutive games until the NFC Championship in Atlanta. The Packers stood no chance in a 23-point loss to MVP Matt Ryan's Falcons. 
The next two years for Rodgers were injury-filled and unrewarding, with Green Bay missing the postseason in consecutive years. He would bounce back in 2019, leading the Packers back to the conference championship before another defensive letdown in a 17-point loss. San Francisco going to the Super Bowl with a big win tonight over Green Bay. But before the 2020 season got underway, the Packers organization made one of the most controversial decisions in the Aaron Rodgers era. With the 26th pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, the Green Bay Packers select Jordan oh. Love, quarterback, oh. Utah State. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Are you sh me? Do you know that the Green Bay Packers have never drafted another offensive player in the first round since 2005? There's something to be said about your best player, your star, and this is how you treat him. In 2020, they drafted Jordan uh, to replace me. They couldn't tell Aaron Rodgers, like, look, Aaron, we're going to select a quarterback. We might even move up and take him. You could have given him that common courtesy. There's probably some people who believe that I was a descending player and that it was time to make a change. He should feel disgusted, he should feel insulted, and as far as I'm concerned, if I was Aaron Rodgers, I'd ask to be traded. Thankfully, Rodgers did not ask to be traded, but instead decided to have a third MVP season. Rodgers pulls back from center, lofts it deep down the left side. Adams makes the adjustment, the catch, he's got it! Touchdown! I noticed that you had a significant change in perspective over the last few years. You've become, it seems like you're having more fun. The candidate as Rodgers is protected, down the middle for the touchdown. That's Tunyon. I'm not trying to be anything other than myself. And I do, I think deep down, realize this chapter of my life's coming to a close. Well, Rodgers looking downfield. Rainbows down the middle, got MVS, touchdown! You're enjoying your teammates, you're enjoying the process, you're enjoying what you get to do uh, while you're still, still able to do it. This is one of the closest teams that we've had in a long time. It's just a new energy, uh, there's an excitement. Rodgers, lots of time, still waiting. Throws, middle end zone, touchdown! When you're 21, you're thinking you're gonna play forever and you're like, damn, like the years have really gone by and I'm thankful for it. I wanna leave this place better than I found it. Quick toss, left side, Devante's got it. He gets by Slay, to the pylon, touchdown! And for Aaron Rodgers, his 400th career touchdown pass. I have just a new and increased love of life. And there's just a lot of things that have come together in my life that have really given me perspective on life and in football to view things through the most positive lens I possibly can. It's mindfulness and positivity and love and kindness and integrity. And just putting it all together, I think for me, has is, is made me a lot happier. And I, you know, I'm just enjoying football and enjoying life a lot more. But despite the elite season Rodgers had, his Packers would run into Tom Brady in the NFC Championship. For the deep shot, he's got a touchdown! Scotty Miller! The Tampa Bay Buccaneers and Tom Brady are going to Super Bowl 55. After the loss would follow a tumultuous offseason that started with a Jeopardy appearance. Were you like trying to be the host of Jeopardy? I was. Why would you want to do that? I watched the show growing up. It's very nostalgic for me. I used to watch my grandparents. I love the show. Well, I thought it would, made sense. I'm, I'm still an active player. I could film in the off season. In the 1960s, these Midwesterners earned five NFL championship trophies. Green Bay Packers? <laughs> <laughs> Reportedly not expected to attend Packers mandatory minicamp, barring some sort of a change. I wanted to help the organization learn from some of the mistakes in the past, in my opinion. You or your team leaked to Adam Schefter that there were issues between you and Green Bay. There were some leaks for sure. I didn't have a part in any of those. He can be a thin-skinned, finger-pointing, blame-deflecting diva. The media loves to make stories when there's not enough content to put out there. But I'm getting tired of it. Good. Thank you. I don't know how you repair this. I don't know why you're holding on to Aaron Rodgers when you drafted his replacement. I firmly believe there is wisdom in silence. I love this city and this organization. I felt like handling things behind closed doors was the right way to do it. They've done a better job the last couple of years of trusting. If I need to be away from the team, they know when I'm back, I'm back, I'm locked in. And then, they were asking every single player, are you vaccinated? I looked into other options, which included a protocol I felt like was the best available. I'd come to conclusion, I'm gonna say, yeah, I've been immunized. 
I was getting weekly requests to go on Fox News. I'm like, I don't want to be a part of any politics right. at all. I'm sharing a personal opinion based on my own health, what I think is best for my body. And then sure enough, I can track COVID in the beginning of November, end of October. That's when this storm hit. Aaron Rodgers is a liar. Aaron Rodgers lied. Now I'm a liar. He knew he was being deceitful. He knew exactly what he was doing. He lied through his teeth with a smirk on his face. The attempted takedown of me and my word and my integrity began. This was all time fraudulent yes. on his part. He's arrogant, selfish, flippant. He's all those things. Despite the turbulent summer, the arrogant, selfish, and flippant Aaron Rodgers would go on to have a fourth MVP season. Pump fake play, it's caught! Touchdown Green Bay! Do you think that you love football more than you did when you first started playing in the NFL? I think I have a better perspective about life now than I did as a 21-year-old. Rodgers steps and fires. Adams is there and he's got it! When we look at Aaron Rodgers flinging this football the way that he does, but let's stop acting like what we're seeing from Aaron Rodgers is not very, Harry very special. Rodgers keeps, floats, pass, is caught by Cobb. What Aaron Rodgers has done for the entirety of the season has been more impressive. If you want to be the champ, you got to beat the champ. It doesn't feel like anybody's come and taken that MVP from Rodgers in my opinion. Pass is caught. Lazard. Touchdown! There it is! History for Aaron Rodgers on Christmas Day at Lambeau. Career touchdown pass number 443. No need to go deep into it. Aaron Rodgers is the MVP. And when you think about where the Packers are sitting here with the one seed, this dude didn't even this dude didn't even practice during the offseason. Pumps and runs. Aaron Rodgers is inside the pylon. Go. It's about striving for perfection that I think allows you to always want to be better in those moments and appreciation for what you're doing and, and, and have a good confidence in your craft and what you've accomplished. Extra men on the rush, Adams touchdown! We were uh, one and one, went to San Francisco, back and forth, Sunday Night Football, and they scored to go up 28-27. to 27. 37 seconds to go, no timeouts. Here's the snap. Looking around and waiting. Lost it over the middle for Devontae. He's got it at the 50. Hit Devontae like on a, just over the fingertips of Fred Warren. Aaron Rodgers trying to turn water into wine. Snap Rodgers looking. Throws it. Devontae's got it. And he falls to the ground. Hit Devontae to get us in the field goal range and spiked it. And, and grounds the football. Three seconds to go. And had this fist pump, you know, run the sidelines. Just this knowing like, my boy Mace is going to make this kick. Here it is, place been made, kick to the upright, and it is good! It is good! 51-yard walk-off field goal. I'm telling you, folks, there is nobody better in the clutch. How can you not be romantic about football, man? The Packers were clicking on all cylinders entering the 2021 postseason. Even the defense was up to par. But it was the other phases of the game. Good snap, good hold. That would be the Packers' downfall. It's San Francisco's football. Three games and it's blocked. And the special teams breaks down. High snap, placement made, kick end over end to the uprights, and it is good. The 49ers advance. This is the end of the game. Many questions were asked during the 2022 offseason. How close were you to retiring? I don't yeah. know how close is close i was thinking about it he might have held off on signing a 150 million dollar extension if he knew this was going to happen the packers are going to trade their superstar receiver Devonte adams to the las vegas raiders it was a little surprising with Devonte. in the end i think he was ready to move on and that's a big hole to fill for sure the loss of Devonte adams would be felt on the packers very first play of the 2022 season. Going deep, Watson, the rookie drops it! He was wide open and Christian. Enough of Aaron Rodgers, please. Uh, can you go out? He's been very bad the postseason since he won a Super Bowl. He's only got the one. If they're not gonna win it, and they aren't this year, when were they when are they gonna win it? Rodgers is going for it all. It's Dobbs! Oh, the ball came out! The ball came out at the end! Ball batted again! Incomplete! The Giants! Hold the Packers out of the end zone! Dylan fumbled the 
football. I think the Jets got it. Let's see. Finds Aaron Rodgers. Rodgers to the 20. A flag is thrown. Out of bounds, and that's your ball game. We've lost five straight. Five <laughs> lost five straight games. Yeah. You got your hand. Your thumb. Your thumb was Broken. fractured. Yeah. yeah. We need to are ready to run me out of town and sit me down on the bench. And there was talk about that, right? Yeah. And scrap the season. Obviously, when you lose games, you put yourself uh, farther out there. We got a five game stretch. We got a 105. And who better to engineer a late season playoff push than Aaron Rodgers? On fourth down. Rodgers steps up, end zone, Watson, he's got it again! We're not eliminated, we got a chance to run the last five and, and uh, see where we stand after that. I still believe in myself and felt like it just takes one sometimes. I definitely had faith I was going to go down uh, scrapping. Steps up, takes off, running inside the five and it's first and goal. An interesting year. Hasn't been my best football at times. I've been asked to be someone that guys can count on to keep it together. And we stuck together and we put ourselves in position to do something special. Green Bay put itself in a win and in position entering week 18, but would fall apart in the final minutes. Here's a blitz. Can Rogers beat it? And the Packers are in major trouble. And Goff is looking to throw it. He throws it. It's caught for the first down. The Lions have come into Lambeau. And they've knocked the Packers down and out. It was leaning definitely towards retirement. That's what I felt like when the clock hit zero. That's why I wanted to walk off of the rental cab. Because after the Super Bowl, he's going to take a four-day darkness retreat. I'm going to get away from it. I'm going to get away from the emotion of the season. Let me see how I'm feeling and what I want to do moving forward with my future. I lit a little candle. I closed the door. I blew that candle out. Mm. And that started a pretty incredible four nights. I got to admit, I went in the darkness 90% retiring. When I came out of the darkness, something changed. I finished those days with a reality of going back and playing but not playing out of spite to prove something to someone for the money, playing because I fell in love with this game when I was six years old and it makes my life better. And I'm happy when I'm with my guys and I'm happy when I'm with my people out there. Oh, Laura, we have breaking news right now. Aaron Rodgers officially is being traded to the New York Jets.